some recipe cards and oh a cookbook this is for chocolate but I don't think I ever baked out of it <laughs> but um, so uh, I'm talking about let's see so the recipe cards here um, you know of course when you make something you need to have directions and you need to know how much of something and what ingredients you have in it um, and actually these um, and then some you know like people have cookbooks and sometimes those are handed down generation to generation same with recipe cards um, you know some of those you know are valued um, and people hand those down and you know make make things that their grandparents made or things like that um, I actually here have uh, when I had my bridal shower in oh, 2000 two, well you're 2000 before I got married um, I asked the ladies the bridal shower to bring a recipe you know something they like so I actually have still some of those that I use the no bake cookies I still use that one and some of these I haven't used or this the chocolate there's a chocolate chip cookie recipe and a blueberry cake this is from their grandmother so she makes really good blueberry cake so that's that's special um, and then I have a recipe uh, box I keep those in I also have a bunch of you know cookbooks here so um, it's important when you bake or cook that you have you know certain things that you need to, to follow um, and um, uh, you know you have to have the same the right ingredients or nothing's going to taste good if you put too much salt or not enough sugar things like that so it's it's rules to follow um, and God gave us a recipe book for life and that's the Bible um, it's uh, the Bible contains all the ingredients that we need to live a full life of blessings and God wrote the recipe for us um, just like a baker decides which ingredients to combine for the perfect you know treat whatever uh, God's determined what we need in our lives to make our lives better uh, but it's important to know that God didn't write the recipe so our lives would be boring or hard to live God wrote his recipe for life to help us to know how to live happier healthier lives sometimes we think that God's rules are hard to follow maybe there are too many ingredients we get confused about how much of an ingredient to use but the truth is that if we follow God and follow his re recipe exactly we will be greatly blessed and we are so blessed because God gave us more than just the Bible to help us understand how to live a godly life he also gave us his son Jesus and he was a perfect example of how to live a godly life and he sent him to earth to show us how to live and abide by God's rules um, and God gathered the ingredients and he wrote the recipe recipes, <laughs> and he gave us the rules and he God sent his son um, as a living example of how to follow the rules um, now he wants us to live our lives the way that he intended according to his perfect recipe so if we do that we'll live lives that are full of God's blessings um, so uh, let's pray um, Almighty God thank you for creating us we are blessed Lord that you have given us a recipe for life not only have you given us a written set of rules but you have also given us the perfect example in your son Jesus Christ Help us, Father, to fill our lives with the perfect ingredients, to obey your commands, to follow your recipe, to live a life like Jesus. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. And um, the scripture... Oh. Okay, the scripture used was 1 John 2, 5 to 6. Um, but if anyone obeys his word, God's love is truly made complete in him. This is how we know we are in him. Whoever claims to live in him must walk as Jesus did. So that's the recipe for life. Amen. Amen.